The infamous Julian Assange has made comments in the past related to the announced release of many of his controversial intelligence leaks. He has now stated that there will be UFO-related materials. Recently, WikiLeaks revealed alleged compromised Department of Defense cable communications indicating that U.S. armed forces may be in the midst of a secret war with UFOs. According to the sources that were revealed, there was an all-out alert issued by Air Force Space Command after the emergence of a large flotilla of airborne unidentified objects from the floor of the southern seas of the Antarctic. This armada of unknown objects headed toward Guadalajara, Mexico. It is said that Julian Assange has been falsely accused of sexual assault charges by authorities in Sweden which resulted in his arrest in Great Britain. That one of his accusers, Anradin, has fled and is presently in hiding, among the Palestinians, is a strong indication that the charges, according to those familiar with government tactics, is a ploy to silence Assange's evidence. U.S. warplanes are said to have been deployed to meet a massive fleet of UFOs on the 10th of June 2004, and all radar systems intensified on the inbound targets, the massive fleet supposedly then resubmerged into the Antarctic Oceans. Recently, another massive emergence of the unknown objects headed toward the southern tip of South America and flew over Chile. Experts say that the immediate threat posed by these huge displays is the dangerous waves they generate as they surface which is capable of sinking oceanic vessels. In the most recent appearance of the UFO armada from the Antarctic Southern Ocean, one cruise ship was nearly capsized with 160 aboard while another vessel was overturned with a crew of 60 with only 20 rescued survivors. This story was originally released by the European Times Online which had reported that the Russian president was receiving intelligence briefings indicating that the US was involved in secret military confrontations with massive UFO formations originating from underwater bases in and around the Antarctic Oceans. These events corroborate a number of other incidents over the past recent years. In 1991 a wave of UFO sightings swept over Mexico City during the widely awaited eclipse. The luminous objects were recorded by many handheld video cameras owned by citizens and offered to TV news crews. In October 13, 2010 the dramatic appearance of UFO activity over New York City caused the Air Force to shut down air traffic over the city for 24 hours. Thousands of witnesses stood spellbound as they watched UFOs in the skies over the city. Commonly known as unidentified submerged objects USOs, there have been numerous reports over the last four decades of startling appearances of underwater objects suddenly emerging and harassing ships and aircraft. The late Ivan T. Sanderson, a well-known TV personality on animal behavior as well as a former intelligence officer during World War II, published more than one book on the subject considerably ahead of his time. Friends close to him allege that he never gave up his research on USOs, and may even have been viewed as a dangerous nuisance by his former espionage employers. Sanderson contracted a rare cancer that ended his life quickly like so many others who have been deemed inconvenient to sensitive government matters. A massive sighting of USOs terrified several people on the California coast. Police received phone calls from frightened citizens telling them of bright objects emerging from the Pacific and flying into the night sky at rapid speeds. There is a very curious and questionable history of Navy involvement and lost aircraft over the Antarctic continent that compels me to look further. I will keep you all posted. Thank you. New WikiLeaks cable set to reveal U.S. UFO war in Southern Ocean. This is dated April 14, 2011. A new report circulating in the Kremlin today prepared for President Medvedev by Russian Space Forces 
VKS, 45th Division of Space Control, says that an upcoming WikiLeaks release of secret U.S. cables details that the Americans have been engaged since 2004 in a war against UFOs based on or near the continent of Antarctica, particularly the Southern Ocean. According to this report, the United, I the United States went to its highest alert level on June 10, 2004, after a massive fleet of UFOs suddenly emerged from the Southern Ocean and approached Guadalajara, Mexico, barely 1,600 kilometers, or 1,000 miles, from the American border. Prior to reaching the U.S. border, however, this massive U.S. FO fleet is said in this report to have dimensionally returned to their Southern Ocean home base. The fears of the Americans regarding these Southern Ocean UFOs began, this report says, during the unprecedented events of July 11, 1991, which is actually referred to as 7-11 when during the solar eclipse these mysterious aircraft appeared by the hundreds over all of new all of mexico even their capital city most notable about the events of 711 were that as millions of Mexicans were watching on their televisions the national broadcasts of these UFOs over Mexico City, the American media refused to allow their people to view it. Well, let's get that straight. It's not the media, it's who controls the media and who owns the media. Since 2004, this report continues. Fleets of southern ocean UFOs have continued to emerge from their bases with the latest such event bringing this Friday past when another of their massive fleets was sighted over the South American nation of Chile. The immediate danger to our world when these massive UFO fleets emerge from the southern ocean, this report, report warns, are the massive waves caused by their sudden eruption from what are believed to be their underwater base or bases. In the past week alone, the Clelia II, an Antarctic cruise ship with 160 people on board, was nearly capsized when hit by waves generated by these UFOs emerging from the Southern Ocean, and just today the number one Insung has been reported sunk, with only 20 of its 42 member crew said save due to the same cause. Interesting to note in this report is it's confirming our October 14th report, U.S. shuts down New York City airspace over UFO threat, that these same Southern Ocean UFOs were responsible for the closing of the airspace over New York City this past fall, October 13th, when they appeared openly and were witnessed by tens of thousands of people, and which coincidentally occurred during the same time frame as the mysterious crystal skulls of the ancient Southern American peoples were being exhibited there too. Even more interesting to note is that the mysterious earthquakes being reported in the Gulf of Aden, where another extraterrestrial event is currently ongoing, and we had reported on our December 1st report, Mysterious Vortex Warned is Creating Global Weather Catastrophe, are now being reported occurring in the Southern Ocean, too. The report goes on to state <clears throat> that after WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange warned last week that he would begin releasing secret U.S. cables relating to these Southern Ocean UFOs and the Americans' war against them, he was immediately arrested by British police on trumped-up charges issued by the Swedish government, which in our December 8th report, Global Rebellion Erupts After Unprotected Sex Meets Disrobed Governments, we noted were engineered against him as a classic CIA honey trap. Okay, I won't go into any more about that, but... Um, just thought that was interesting. You know, I am just, I am so sick and tired of 
you know, having to read things that are being reported in other countries. And here we think that the United States is the best country on the planet. The best country in the entire planet. And we have been lied to and dummied down. And right now we're sheep to the slaughter. They <laughs> we're, we're giving we're giving every country on the planet all of our money that we have worked hard for. People are killing themselves because they have lost their homes. People are having to move back in with their antique parents because they don't have anywhere to go with full families. Alcoholism is up 500% in the United States because people are getting little glimpses of how they've been betrayed and how it there there is no justice we have open borders that are being supported by the government they're even paying they're even paying them to bring trade of trucks from Mexico up into the United States. I mean, that's all fine. But these trucks, they don't they're they don't have any kind of smog requirements in their country or nothing. So our government's giving each truck that brings in a load of drugs or whatever the hell they're paying them to bring here drugs um, they they're paying these guys ten thousand dollars per truck so that these trucks will meet US standard requirements for vehicle emissions I mean it, it just it just goes on and on and on and on you know it, it just I'll tell you I've known this stuff since I was a kid. I never got into politics because I knew. I knew as a little girl, a little child, when the President of the United States had his head blown off, I knew that there was something wrong. There had to be a reason why that was happening because he was a nice guy, or so he appeared. You know, it just... It just is, it's just been one of those things I just really don't want to know. But now I need to know. And I, I'm not going to give up and say, well, I don't have anywhere to go and I don't know what to do and I'm filled with fear. Hell no. There are plenty of people here on YouTube who are willing to help. Help you find a place to go, tell you where the safe places are. I've had several people extend their heart and their generosity and I'm telling you right now we are headed for a full-blown blackout on these computers full-blown any day I expect it so my suggestion is we're gonna have to go back to old school hardline telephones uh, and mail you know if you are if you have some questions with somebody, get their phone number and start talking to them and start networking that way. Because, first of all, you're going to do without all the shills and everything else. You can talk one-on-one -on -one openly with other people who are more than happy to share information. I mean, if I didn't live at the beach in Southern California, I would open up my house. I probably would have already had it filled with Japanese people. You know, I'm just saying, <clears throat> this is what it's going to have to come down to, is old school. Meeting somebody, looking at them in the eyes and saying, you know what, we're, of, we're kindred spirits. We're going to get through this. And this is how we're going to do it, together. So, <clears throat> you know, 
I, I just, I'm sorry, I just needed to rant. And I'm actually, I'm not done. I'm, I'm actually pissed. I am pissed off. And when I get pissed off, I get busy. So anyway, God bless.